everyone, this is Kevin from Sticks and Stones, and what I'm doing today in this video is uh, I'm remaking an old video. It was one of my first ones that I put on YouTube, and it was carving this porch baluster here uh, because I know we're, we cover a lot of power carving and everything else, but I want you guys to see the process step by step and how to do something like this. This is solid maple, by the way, and it's got really old paint on it. But I want you to see the process of doing stuff with hand tools. So I'm going to fast forward through it and narrate it. And hopefully you guys will get something out of it. And uh, it's kind of interesting, I think, to watch it and fast forward and actually watch the wood spirit that I make on this guy come to life as we go. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward through it and do the narration. And we'll see if we can get something out of this big porch baluster that somebody just threw away in the garbage. Here we go. First of all, I'm going to just make a stop cut, and this was the old days, uh, it's a long time ago, so I'm just using carpenter chisels here to take the wood off and push it up into that stop cut. I'm scraping right through the paint, pushing all that wood up so I can start forming a brow line, and this is tough stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, I remember when I was doing this video, oh boy, it was brutal. And it was about 90 degrees outside, and I'm sitting here using my homemade knives that I made myself and trying to get something out of this piece of junk that somebody threw away. Now right there, I just put a stop cut so I can make some eyes here. What I'm going to do is start with a brow line, and I'm just cleaning that out with my knife. Down here, I'm going to do the same. It's about a third of the way down the face, so I get that chisel, make a stop cut, and take some wood out from underneath it. This will give you a good chance to see how a nose is formed with hand tools, by the way. Okay, so once we have that cleared out, I take a big gouge. And I'm going to come up on the sides of the nose. I'm going to scoop some wood out, keeping the nose pretty wide here. And then I go down with it, and I make a couple of cuts. And again, I'm cleaning it off and trying to shape it. And right here, I'm going to some big rounded gouges. Okay, and I use the same gouge flipped upside down. See the way I can shape that nose just using that gouge? Right? Clean out under the nose with the same gouge. Because it's already shaped the shape I want. And I'll scrape some wood off and I keep going up towards the eyes and coming from the eyebrows in to keep digging out those eye sockets a little as I go. And then I clean it up with my knife. Okay, now we got to still work on this nose. I'm shaving it up, making it blend into the sides of the face. And I'm still using the same gouge. And what I'm going to do is put it on its side, upside down, and I'm going to punch the sides of the nostrils right into the wood with it. As you see here. And then again, clean it up with your knife. And I'm trying to angle that nose back and in by flipping my gouge upside down and pushing it right up into that stop cut by the eye bridge there. Let's separate the eyebrows with a gouge. And that'll make it easier to form our eyebrows. And I take my knife and I score them. And then I'll come from the top down. Take that wood out to the stop cut and that'll raise the eyebrows. And again, still digging out underneath. Trying to get some shadows and make sure I got it deep enough for when I want to put my eyes in there. Scraping more paint off. Using a mallet here because it was wearing me out on this big old piece of maple. Notice how I keep trying to keep it clean and shaping to the sides. I'm rounding it over as I keep cleaning it. Back up at the hairline. Let's finish off uh, some stuff up there. Okay, drawing a mustache on. Taking myself a big gouge again, getting some wood out on the sides first, so when I cut it in, it'll be a lot easier if I can get a lot of that wood out of there. I'm just scoring it with my knife here, getting the shape that I want, and then taking most of that out with my knife. You can do this with a chisel, too. I cut to the outsides of the mustache with my knife, and then push the wood in and under the mustache on the sides of it. Now I'm going to draw 
the cheeks in and I like to kind of bring them in and then back out and then I take that wood out with a big gouge. Kind of makes the face a little more interesting. Then I'll cut that in, make a nice stuff cut in, into the wood and then shave the cheeks into the sides. So it kind of frames his face all the way around. I mean, when you're using hand tools, you use what you got, you know, and uh, it's kind of interesting how quick you can actually take wood off with these big gouges. This right here is another little gouge. I drew a lip in and I'm just coming underneath that line and I'm taking wood out and then going into the corners of the lip, making a stop cut and taking a little corner chip out of each side right there, as you can see. So that way the lip rounds up and underneath the mustache. Did a lot of carving on this with my knife. <laughs> Wouldn't want to do this project nowadays, so. We have other things. Here I'm just going right through the paint to get some wood out and start forming a beard with a big gouge. These are uh, flex cut gouges I was using with a mallet. And I'm just running big, deep gouge marks in, taking the paint off as I go. And then once I get into that really nice wood that just peels right off, I come back up, go through it, smooth it out, and make sure I got a lot of nice little ridges that I can run a V-tool v -tool through and make some neat hair. Go around the top to where we're going to add some hair. I start taking the paint off there. And the gouge will make marks like hair just by itself. And then I can add a V-tool and other tools later on. Okay, now I'm running a V-tool through the same ridges that I had made with the gouge. And this will make that hair stand out a little bit more. I'm going around the face and the lines that I already cut. I'm trying to make them deeper, get a little more shadow. And now I can come up to the top and run it through those gouge lines uh, where we made hair. I sand it down a little bit and see where I am. Always make sure if you're using hand tools or any tools after you sand, you brush it off. Because that will dull your knife, the grit and the sandpaper. Now we're going to come up here and start working towards getting some eyes in. So I'm trying to take some wood out and make sure that's nice and ready for drawing eyes. I clean it up, get my pencil, and I draw my eyelids. Now I'm trying to cut the corners out and start shaping some roundness there. And I take wood out of the top from the top and then get a good shadow and then I'll take my knife and do the lid pushing up and underneath that lid that I formed to make it stand up a little bit. I know it's a little tough to see in this view but working on those eyes trying to cut the corners out of each side and then taking that little chip out like we've done in so many videos. I'm pushing the wood up and underneath the lid and trying to get those eyeballs to start rounding. Pretty cool looking knife there, huh? Yeah, I used to make them years ago. <laughs> okay, still digging at them corners, still picking, trying to shape those eyeballs the way I want. Now I can get a small gouge and punch some irises in there. Again, cleaning them up with my knife. Nowadays, I'd probably do this with power. It wouldn't take me half as long. That's why I fast forwarded through it. There you go. The guys are starting to look pretty good. He's going to need some Bottom lids and some bags and give them some character. Again, I use a V-tool for that. Shape a bottom lid. Start putting some bags in. I'm cleaning up on the outside of the mustache again, digging in it a little bit more with my knife. Taking some wood out so it stands out. 
making sure it goes uh, under the nose the way I want it to. I kind of jump all around a carving when I'm carving, and I'll see what I like, what needs to be cleaned up as I go. Right here, I'm using the gouge to put those bags in. I'll hit it with the mallet, make a big round circle, half a circle, and then I'll use the same gouge to take wood out from underneath it, and then clean it up with my knife. And that way the bags will start standing out. Again, still picking at the eyes and making sure they're clean and rounded and corners are cut clean and getting some good shadow there. Checking the face, making sure it's cut into the sides. They look the best when the face is dug into the wood, so I really try to bring that out in all my carvings. Now right here, I got a smaller V-tool, and I'm just running around and I'm adding some extra hair. I'm giving some more detail to the carving underneath the bags. Back to the knife, cutting the forehead in, and the sides of the cheeks. And now we can put some eyelashes on there and everything. Just keep switching tools back and forth, cleaning them up with some sandpaper, brushing them off, and that should be pretty close to uh, done. Uh, let's take them off the board and see what we ended up with. And there you go. So now this right here was just a piece that was just, you know, uh, I think he picked them up at an auction, actually. There was six of them in a box, a friend of mine. And he brought them to me, and they're beat up on the top, and they're just square like that. And I think I end up, uh, ended up cleaning up the top and the bottom, cutting them flat, and putting a little tabletop on top, and you could put a bird feeder on it outside. You could do all kinds of stuff. But uh, I sold it, of course. It was a long time ago. I took all the paint off before I did. And that's what I ended up with, guys. So that's how you carve something like this with all hand tools. Hope you enjoyed it.